Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscriber right now. Let's just get straight to right here with our station. His Excellency Turkey al Sheikh has declared that he is now working with Canelo Alvarez versus Terence Crawford for late 2024 or early 2025 at a stadium in New York, Las Vegas or LA. He said, I quote, I want this fight and we are thinking to do it in America because we want it huge. Bruv, I have to tell you right now, man. Turkey la cheek, the savior of boxing. I would say, somehow i feel very sad i feel i'm very very happy very happy but also i feel very sad bro because where were where was tokyo lashik when we had all this water joshua drama the only speed that could have happened imagine if joshua and water happened at the time of their peak basically when they we're still undefeated. The hype was still there between these two guys. Wilder was knocking everyone out. You can call them bums. Joshua was doing his thing. You know, these two guys were kings of the division. Fury was out of the picture. Fury was still in suspension. You know, battling mental, mental health issues and snorting cocaine and stuff like that. Joshua put him boxing on the map. Every boxing was back. Wilder doing his thing in America. Wilder known as the known as the boogeyman. The guy with a loud mouth. The guy with a power. The guy with a what attitude and everything, bro. Where was Turkey Ala Sheikh? Where were you, Turkey Ala Sheikh? This is Celeste, sorry. Where were you? I wish it was I wish you, you came on board. Because imagine if Turkey Ala Sheikh or Saudi came on board then. Bro. We would have had this fights already. Crawford Canelo, for example, yes, you can say Canelo wouldn't get credit if he beats Crawford because Crawford is gonna move up, really moving two weeks up, and Crawford is moving up for the first, like basically moving up in weight to fight Madrimov at one fifty four. You know, um, in August, August third, in LA, Los Angeles, and then, yeah. Crawford still needs to get used to the weight. Of course, he looks basically similar a similar size to to Madrimov in terms of like um I think he had the longer reach. But Madrimov is a natural 154 pounder, you know. While Crawford is moving up after, you know, being on the speed at 147. Okay. Um dealing with uh Aaron Spence Jr. and just making easy work and basically we can say yeah our space junior was is a was a shadow of him of himself after the accident but still you know we know what he did when he, he got back after the accident he fought a legit legit fighter um a former world champ and he got the win so we can't really say that either you're he was ready or not I just think Crawford is a different, like was gonna be always gonna be a difficult style for Terence Crawford because Crawford can switch that power onto those. He's very sneaky. His jab is solid. His footwork is is amazing. In fact, he even sent Turkey Lashik um, a message. He was supposed to be um, at this um, event in Saudi, the Fury Usyk. Um, Undisputed uh, bout uh, was supposed to be there, and um, yeah, I don't know for one reason or another he couldn't make it. And here's what he had to say to Tokyo that show. I hope the show go well. I see you in LA. What's up, Turkey? Hey, sorry I couldn't make it out there. As you see, I'm working hard for August third. I hope the show go well. I see you in LA. So Crawford is working very hard. I think was is this, is this not the UFC uh, center or something? UFC tra MMA training center. 
I think that's where he is. Crawford, this guy can even be a UFC fighter, man. He can easily tra- he can easily transit to UFC if he wants to, because he's one of those guys that if he pulls pulls his mind in something, he gets it done. This fight right here is a very interesting fight. The reason why it is interesting because Crawford is one hell of a fighter, basically. So, um, one hell of a fighter. A guy with um multiple talents, you know. Um, already a living legend, and I know that a lot of the listen. I think Crawford. It, it, it all depends on how Crawford does against Madrimov, though. Cause Madrimov is no slouch, bro. Madrimov is a re re fighter. I think Crawford would beat him, but I think it would be a very difficult fight for Crawford. And if Crawford can hurt to Madrimov, then the fight will be over. Because if Crawford can hurt Madrimov, then he's only gonna he's all, he's gonna catch him. And not just once, not just twice, but multiple times. Because that's how that's how talented this guy right here is. You know, immediately he knew he could hurt uh, a respect junior. The fight was over. But if he can't hurt Madrimov, that's another fight entirely. Then. You know, that would be crazy to see. Yes, man, what do you guys make of this? Uh, Turkey Lashik setting up Crawford Canelo um, for 2024, early 2025. It's going to be an epic, 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 epic battle. Here we go, guys. Like the video, share, subscribe. And um, yeah, God bless you for the support of the channel. Cheers. And uh, stay blessed, guys. Uh, can't let me take.